was the night before the day that was a week before Christmas, when all through the school, not a teacher was developing new lessons, not even Miss Bits. The grade eights were trying to skip out on classes in hopes that Mr. Cron wouldn't find their rudeness too awful. The nines were nestled all snug in pajamas, visions of awkward and cringy TikToks filled with dramas. And Busfield in his stash, and I in my hat, thinking maybe he's Santa Claus, and stuff like that. When out on the field there arose such a clatter, I sprang from social justice to see what's the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the terrible mini-blinds that don't really work at all, and don't even think about the last time they were cleaned. The football pitched on the breast of the new-fallen snow, international students trying to play soccer or footy or something below, when what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature dachshund and eight labradoodles, grad photos were here, with a little old cat so angry and scared, when the camera flashed its teeth were bared, more rapid than grade tens exiting the building on Friday, whistling and shouting, parents blocking buses at the driveway. Now Bishop, Copara, now Munro and Irwin, Miss Challen, Miss Cooper, both Hansons and Goodwin. Ah, yes, the esteemed and revered woodshop magician who gives Beaners power tools and is still in commission. Retiring with ten fingers and two eyes must be some sort of record. After a career in the shop, most histories are checkered. From the top of the weird staircase by the Spanish room to under the science wing in the creepy crawl space like a tomb, the old building is doing its best to hold it together. Through cracks, leaks, asbestos, and apocalypse weather, icicles on the roof and icy walkways below, almost like we're drenched by water, not snow. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the PA, betwixt way and limlit proper things to say, what a concert by the band, a show by the choir, what a production by musical and stagecraft we admire. Numeracy towers of marshmallow and spaghetti, crazy cahoots that the teachers get ready, sports teams doing well, larger crowds to scream, shoot! So many great things, the pandemic seems moot. And just when we felt we were creeping towards normal, with hats, costumes, and contests, karaoke, and days to wear formal. The COVID smacks back with Omicron like a Grinch, pushed back a foot when we pressed forward an inch. So pull up those masks, grade 11s, we're looking at you. If you want a typical grad next year, it's what you must do. And vapors cross the field, behind the hedge, and in change rooms, behind the sea can with your fruity grease fumes. You're invincible now when you're healthy and young, You'll sing a new tune when you've popcorn lung. Some kids try to hide by staying in plain sight, under blankets and hoodies and books hid from daylight. We see you, we feel you, we know what you know. Take a deep, fresh breath and get out to the snow. The season's upon us, you've nothing to dread, except the thoughts and worries packed into your head. On this winter break, give anxiety a break. You... Laugh at bad jokes and sing a carol or two. Forget trying to grow up faster than you need. Hold on to the youth that escapes at great speed. Crouch behind a couch with a toddler or friend. Try to capture St. Nick instead of the latest Twitter trend. Those twelves in the grad lounge will tell you the score. Four years trying to get out, but now most want a little more. Because time is like Santa, who's gone in a flash. He stops for no one, he's in a mad dash. But like Mr. Grace, Claus leads by example, gives more than he takes, and his heart is too ample. Though it seems at times school resembles a prison, step back and realize the privilege we're given. To live in this place where the lakes and mountains meet, where beauty and nature and opportunity compete. So give us a nod and take these two weeks to recharge with family and rest and meals far too large. La Nouvelle Année will be here real quick. Let's stay healthy, safe, and here's a trick. Remember these words when there's silence at night. If we take care of each other, we'll all be all right. Happy holidays, Kalamalka, and all the best in retirement, Mr. Goodwin.